just look at this beauty. This cabbage came from a friend of mine's garden and it is just so huge. So I decided I'm gonna use a little bit of this big green monster to make some slaw. So I'm first going to peel away these outer leaves. I'm not going to use these in the slaw, but I love that they're so beautiful, big and bowl shaped. So they're wonderful for putting dip. If you're serving veggies in dip, put them on a platter and put your pasta salad inside of it. Really makes a nice, well, it's nice to use in lots of different ways. So I'm just gonna pull these off. I'll wash them off, trim them a little bit on the end and refrigerate them until I'm going to use them. And now for the rest of this huge round green cabbage, I'm going to just cut it into quarters and probably for my slaw today, I'll use just a quarter of it. I'm going to use a very sharp knife and just cut through so that I have four wedges and then I'll slice it very thin with my sharp chef's knife or if you have a mandolin, you know, that works great too. Now, because this is such a huge cabbage, I'm going to just cut these shreds in half so that they're easier to pick up with a fork when, when I'm eating it. And I probably have about four cups here. I'm going to put this into my large mixing bowl. And then I like to add a little bit of the broccoli slaw that you can buy in the grocery store in the produce department. And so it is shredded broccoli, a little bit of carrots and some red cabbage. That adds color and it also adds really nice flavor. I'm just going to use a few ingredients to mix up my own dressing. And to do that, I've measured out half cup of mayonnaise. Now this isn't your typical mayonnaise. This is veginaise. Whoops. And the reason I love to use veginaise because if I'm taking my salad to a potluck or a picnic, I don't have to worry about getting people sick from food poisoning. Mayonnaise is made with eggs, remember? So you have to be real careful about that. So I'm using veginaise. It's made without eggs and it won't get bad at room temperature. I'll put in about a couple teaspoons, tablespoons of fresh lemon juice a quarter cup of spicy brown mustard, and a quarter cup of honey to sweeten it up a little bit. So just pour it over your cabbage and your broccoli slaw and toss it up. Put it in the refrigerator for at least an hour before you serve it. It's tasty and it's a great way to use the fresh cabbage of the season. I'm Sue Doden, sharing good food for good life 365.